Welcome to Across the Desk with Kit Fairchild. Today, I want to talk about something that came in the mail today, and it's the, uh, it's right here, I got it. It's the Yellow Pages. <laughs> yeah, we still tan this thing out. But I got a cool show today because one thing is, you can actually opt out of receiving this. At first I was like, man, that's a lot of waste of paper, and it, I think it kind of is. Um, and that's what our show is going to be about today, going over the uh, Yellow Pages phone book, how to opt out of getting it, and why it's really obsolete anymore. I just want to say that uh, as far as the phone book goes, it's really just, it's really worthless anymore. Nobody, nobody looks at this. Uh, it's so much easier to use your smartphone and just get put in there I, I can even just it's this easy I can just do this I can tap this and go okay Google Pizza Hut closest one here are some listings for Pizza Hut within nine miles and then I can just call it it's just that easy it's that easy I'm not gonna yeah that easy it's just that easy so you pick the closest one you can call it uh, this is that which makes this really obsolete and just a waste of paper. Um, the thing about it is, I mean, I wouldn't even advertise in it. If I want to advertise in it, this really just shows me who the baby boomers are, uh, because that's the only people that are going to advertise in this, or you know, uh, those people that have those businesses. I own a business. I don't advertise in it. It's all online. So I only do that kind of advertisement. It worked great for me. And they try to get me in this every year. Hey, we notice you're not in the phone book. And I'm like, you know, there's a reason why. Because no one looks at it unless you're over 70 years old. Um, I actually do have one other than this one. Well, I, uh, I take that back. I don't have it anymore. I used to have one that I kept. It, 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 I had a table that was off balance. And it actually held up one side of it. That's actually what I used it for. When they come to me, I instantly put them in the recycle bin. But I have a nice little segment over here that I'd like to show you on how to opt out of it because they do have this little thing right here on front. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it actually has a little place you can go to opt out of uh, getting it. So my segment is about how you can go in, opt out of receiving it, and maybe save some paper and eventually they'll not put this out. Um, but really, who are we kidding? Um, as long as there are people willing to buy ads in this, they're going to print it. <laughs> as long as they can turn a buck with all these ads, because I'll tell you what, right here, this right here is all businesses that took out ads in this book. And I guarantee you that's a lot of money uh, for this book. And uh, they made some money off of it. And as long as they can do that, they're going to keep printing it and they're going to keep sending it out until finally one day they just don't. But as long as it's a profitable deal, they'll do it. Um, take a look at this segment. Now right here is the page you can go to and the first thing it wants you to do is it wants you to register. Um, yeah, you need to have a username and password which you might think, oh that stops you. But it made me pause for a second but let's take a look at learning more about it and it says um, why do we register since we have more than 160 yellow page publishers participating in the yellow page optout.com we have to get the right information out to them so they do not deliver a print directory to someone who does not want one so once you register and they get you your password you can go here and you can uh, select directories you want to see, receive, or if you don't want to receive any. They got a nice little recycling program. So let's click on the button here. Um, okay. Now right here, there's a pull-down menu on these. It looks like we have two in Oklahoma City. You pull this down, you can pick none. Or you can go down here and opt out of all. And it'll pick none for both. Save changes. But before you confirm, you have to click on check the boxes opt out yeah I want to opt out for all publications this address and that you understand the disclaimer now you can confirm and there you go thank you your request has been processed and sent to the directory publishers so now 
they do have a sustainability program where they want to talk about, hey, we're good partners for the environment because I'm sure making these phone books all over the place is kind of a contention for them. So, you know, they have a recycling, outdated and outprinted books and they want you to know more publishers what they use. They use leftover lumber and recycled materials for their directories. So, they're not killing any more trees, they're using recycled stuff, and that the directory has been dropping by 70% uh, since 2007. It's changed since two th uh, you know, it's the 70% because you know, the more efficient manufacturing and the yellowpagesoptout.com. Uh, so that's pretty cool that they do those things. Well, as you can see from the last segment, there are ways to opt out of getting the greater yellow pages, the actual book. Um, yellow Pages actually knows this. They have yp.com, which boasts links to over 500 websites and search engines for your business information. So they know it. And also, if you look, this is for the greater Oklahoma City area, and it's not maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half thick. Uh, I don't know if any of you remember the early 90s and late 80s, uh, but uh, this thing used to be a monster, several inches thick. You could kill someone with it almost. But uh, anymore, no one really wants to advertise in it. I'm not sure why these people do. That might be an interesting deal to know, but I'll tell you, as long as they're willing to buy ads in this, and, and as long as YP sells enough ads for it, they'll keep printing it. So it's, it's, it's been profitable for them. Why kill a good thing, right? Uh, eventually, it will go out. And I'm actually quite curious. I did opt out of it, and I hope that I don't receive another one. But how I got this book was the guy who handed it out had a bag and he was just walking in the neighborhood tossing these out. So I'm not real sure how they would know if I opted out or not. But we will see. If I get another one, maybe I'll do another show. It might be for another season, huh? So I hope you've enjoyed our show today on the actual phone book and why we don't need it anymore. This is Kit Fairchild with Across the Desk.